In today's video, I'm going to be playing Maw Pit Free Power Ups, and I'm actually going to be testing a strategy because I don't know how good it is, but I have seen a lot of people use it. It is a Dartling Gunner Glue Farm. So we're going to see what we can make happen with the strategy, but do me a quick favor, guys. Go down, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. And of course, like that smash button too. Let's see if we can hit one like for today's video. I would really, really appreciate it. So just one person, go down, hit the like button. And yeah, let's get right into the first game. All right, so we're playing against a grinder here on Marsh, and we're playing against this guy named Marky. He is a grinder, we know this for a fact. Uh, right now he's going Buccaneer anti-stall. Interesting, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start out with a regular Dartling Gunner, and then I wanna go for a farm as soon as I can. Probably gonna place this like right over here. And of course, one up here and another one over here. Now I'm just going to wait until I can afford my first farm. Probably just going to place it right here, to be honest, because you need to place the other four kind of specifically. There we go. I also believe we can fit two down here. So yeah, he's going, he's starting out with ecoing. Interesting. Round four, I'm going to use my first dual eco boost. So he's ecoing and he's completely anti stalling. So let's see if uh, if we can beat him. I'm going to go ahead and go for a powerful darts right away. And he's going to knock me out. So I'm going to go for this and sell and rebuy. So he does use assaulted runes, but he's not going to get anything out of it. Um, I think next time he knocks me out, I'll probably just sell and rebuy it in case anything gets too far. But right now he's just focused on ecoing. I could go copy eco to be honest. If I knew he was uh, was going this, might have been good. Anyway, round number six, our uh, dual eco boost is still in effect, so that is pretty good. I'm about to go for another farm soon, I think. First, though, I do want to go for another Dartling Gunner just because he's being very, very aggressive. So I'm thinking we'll do that. Here we go. He knocks out my second Dartling Gunner, and I can just sell that think I probably didn't need that lightning but you know it saved us regardless round seven let's go ahead and do eco boost right away so yeah we are playing against a sweaty grinder but we still should be able to have some chances here so so far he's wasted two knockouts and he has wasted two salted wounds and he got nothing uh, in exchange for them so that is pretty uh, pretty decent for me Honestly, I will take it. As long as I just keep on anti-stalling, he's relying on eco. So that is pretty good for me. He's about to send another rush here, and we're just going to be going ahead and using a lightning to uh, help clean some of that up and go for another farm here. On round 10, I'm going to go ahead and do eco boost again. And might want to upgrade to depleted Bluntonium if he sends me a lead. Okay, so he has a sniper down in the corner. Let's see... Let's put that on strong. <clears throat> there we go. Nice. And let's target it to first. Ooh, are we good here? Nope. All right, let's upgrade that. Take that back to strong. Go for our farm here. Banana plantation, all that good stuff. And I think we should be uh, should be okay with this. Yeah, so right now he's completely anti-stalling and he only has his eco income. We're probably not going to be able to go for BIA just because he's been anti-stalling the entire game and uh, using aggressive power such as knockout. And he just surrenders. So yeah, we end up beating the grinder, but let's move on to the next game. So for this game, we're playing against someone named the Meme Strats and we are playing on offside. So I'm going to go ahead and straight for this as the first thing. And of course, we do have a dual eco boost, which is going to come in handy. Um... And he starts out with a ninja. That is interesting. Let's see. I think I want to start out with the farm, honestly. And I want to see if he uses assaulted. Let's see, is he not? He's not going to use salted. Okay. Fair enough. Fair game. But he did send a little bit of eco. I'm going to go ahead and send him a couple of balloons here. Just to uh, force a few upgrades on that ninja. I'm going to go ahead and use a lightning as well. Just so we can defend that. And I'm thinking on round four is when I'll use my first dual eco boost. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get this down right away. He's trying to force uh, force some stuff. He probably knows I have the Darling Gunner. Um, or maybe he expected a heli. 
could be anything. But, yeah, let's go for this. I don't want to go for powerful darts quite yet. I do want to wait a little bit if I can. Just so we can greed even more. Let's see, round four. Let's go ahead and go for dual eco boost. Right, so he does start out with sending stuff here. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to have to go for uh, powerful darts, unfortunately. I'm going to have to wait a little bit before I... Uh, I farm on too much. So I think I actually want to be anti-stalling just because I mostly rely on the farm rather than eco. So yeah, let's go for the plantation. There we go. I think I might even want to rush him on round six with a little bit of stuff just because we don't want to play too passive either. But we do want to go for another farm here. There we go. And I'm thinking... Round six, it's still a dual eco boost, still gonna be under effect. Let's go for the one zero and let's send him one of these, followed by a bunch of green blooms. This is gonna give us a little bit of extra eco. And on round seven, I'm gonna use another dual eco boost, but let's see if we can get him to chase a bit here. Let's go. He's probably got a lightning, I assume. Yep. So we did get a lightning out of the way. Let's go. Now we both have one out of the way. And. I think we can probably... Oh, he goes ahead and uses Copy Eco. That is interesting. I did not expect that. But I don't really have that much Eco. So, like, I mean, 350, that's not really worth a Copy Eco, in my opinion. But... Go ahead, buddy. Enjoy. Alright, I'm gonna go for one more farm here. He's gonna do the same. So we're pretty even right now at this point. Except I get a little bit more money from, uh, from farms. I do think I want to go for a second Dartling Gunner. There we go. And let's go ahead and send him just a little bit of stuff here. Let's see if he copies my eco right away. He's probably going to go ahead and use a Lightning. Yep. So he has one Lightning left. Let's send him a Lead. First thing first. And let's do this. And he's going to copy my eco right now, I think. Because now we're at 400 something. Whereas he's... Uh, he's down to uh what what was like 350 now he's at 459 as well all right so let's go ahead and send him a bit of a rush here see if he can defend ninja start is an interesting start though like you don't really see that a lot but let's go ahead and send him a bit of stuff here just because now we can actually get away with it since we have a pretty decent eco there we go it looks like he's gonna be fine he did use his last lightning though so from now on, he's going to need to defend without a lightning. He probably does have a damage boost, I assume. I don't know what he has other than that, though. It's kind of interesting. But we'll see. Do want to go for one more Dartling Gunner here just to be safe on round 14. Because now is, uh, is when it starts to get a little bit scary. I think I probably want to go for this over here on Strong. And then wait till the end of round 14 and then go for a BIA. There we go. Let's go for that. Let's go for powerful darts. And now we do want to upgrade this. Corrosive glue. Give me the glue splatter. All that good stuff. There we go. Alright, so I don't know what he has other than this. But because of the fact that we are playing with Dartling Glue, I think we should be late, better late game unless he has a super monkey or something. Alright, so let's go ahead and send him a beefy rush here. See if he can defend that. Uh, we didn't really have enough money to send uh, enough of a rush, I don't think. Oh, we actually do. We end up forcing a damage boost. Let's go. That is really, really good. So I think next round, we will try and send him a Moab. But first, I will go for the farm. There we go. And yeah, let's wait. Don't want to upgrade to a plantation yet. Do you want to force the Moab? Or... Uh, Force a boost if I can. That would be quite nice. Might want to have to upgrade our own uh, glue gunner here in case he sends a Moab. You never know. Nah, it looks like he's going to try and go for the defense. Alright, fair game to you. I'm going to go for another Dartling gunner just to be safe. Again, I still don't know what he has, so if we're going late here, it's going to be an interesting one. But I think I'll go double BIA on... Round 19. I think probably at the end of round 19 we'll collect this and go for another BIA. So that should be fine. If we can get a bunch of BIAs, we should be uh, be pretty good. 
However, a BFB in round 20 will be a little bit uh, of a struggle. So we'll see how we handle. Let's do that. Collect, go straight for the BIA. And let's go for this and go for a balloon to solve. I don't want to send him a BFB, honestly. I kind of just want to play this passive from now on. But we have forced a damage boost. Okay, so he sends me a BFB. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Gonna go for a bunch of these and uh, we'll see. Faster spin barrel, maybe. Gonna wait to pop that. And let's see, I might need to pop collect that as well let's wait until it unpops there we go and now we just have to pop it down there we go beautiful defense and now all we gotta do is go for this there we go and as long as i get a good amount of eco i think i should have a pretty good chance late game i do want to send him a bfb though however i think he could easily defend so there's probably not much of a point i'm gonna let these cook all the way up to max and I don't know how many BIAs I want to go for, though. I think three might be enough. But I don't know if we want to go for more or if three is good. I probably want to go for a third one. So I think I'll do that and then I'll wait. All right, so he has Ninja Ace, which means this is definitely going to be a late game one. And his name is Meme Strat, so he's definitely going in Meme Strategy. You know, got to gotta give that to him at least. But we do want to get this up, which we should easily be able to do on round... 23 and then we just want to let all of our uh, BIAs cook up. So let's go for that There we go. And now we can start on farming normally So uh, yeah, let's go for some plantations here And start getting up factories. Of course, we can collect these at some point uh, I do mostly want to go for BIAs. I don't even know if I want to go for factories Maybe I just only want to go for BIAs Maybe that would be the better choice just for going late because I feel like if we go late, I feel like I can defend more than he can. Although I don't have that much money yet. I don't want to collect any of these yet, but you know what? Let's just go for the BIAs, or the banks at least. Here we go. Round 23 is also going to come to an end pretty quick. Almost. Yep, there we go. So let's see. One more, and then I can go for another BIA. And then I can eventually collect these. And then go for one more BA. Is he good to that? Or is he dead? Oof. Looked like he almost died to that. He knows how to ace micro, which I'm uh, surprised about. Wouldn't uh, wouldn't have expected that, to be honest. Let's see. Round 25. Let's do this. These have 12k in the meat. So I think, you know what? I'll just go ahead and collect everything. And go for a few more BIAs. Go for this. Just need a bit more money. Then I can go for a seventh BIA. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Pretty please. Thank you. Nice. And our eco is looking pretty good at this point. I'm really, really extremely happy with that. I might actually want to upgrade one of these to, uh, to the left side. To a laser cannon. But actually, nah, I think. Because mostly until round 30, it's just going to be Moab, so... We should probably be okay to that. Let's go ahead and sell that. Oh, are we good here? Jeez. Gotta be careful. Let's go. Another BIA. Beautiful. And is he fine here? Looks like it. Let's go ahead. I don't want to collect all these yet. I think I'll wait a little bit. Continue to go for BIAs. So, our eco right now is looking really, really beautiful. Now all we have to do really is just defend the Moabs, which <clears throat> should be easy. All I gotta do is just pop them. I think I can go for a couple faster spin barrels. I think that should uh, help out a little bit against these Moabs. Gotta wait like two more seconds. There we go. Let's go ahead and collect all of these. And go for some more PAs. So this is definitely going late, no doubt about it. I think going for one more Dartling Gunner up here <clears throat> could be worth it. Just because we don't have that many. So, here we go. Nice. I'm trying to keep my eco uh, <laughs> an even number as well. All right. 
and I'm just going for as many BIs as I can. I should probably let the rest of these cook up to max, I think. That would pr probably be a good choice. But my eco is looking good so far. And at this point, I think as long as I get up enough of these, I should be able to defend pretty late. And I should be able to take the win. We'll see, though. So I'll have 5k in them. And all that money kind of adds up, you know. Let's go for a laser cannon here, just because we want to be able to defend the camos. Uh, at 7.5k eco. Looking really, really good at this point. If he starts rushing me, like, I'll get up. I'll get up defense. So, don't worry about that. Do you think I'll go for another one of these? Um... The ceramics here aren't too much fun, but I think, yeah, our glue gunners are defending fully. No problem. That is impressive. Let's go for a few more of these. I think this is probably the max I need. Maybe one more. Because I don't really want too many of them. I kind of want to be able to uh, fill up the map as well. With uh, dartling gunners. But here we go, it's round 32, and he's just going for as many farms as he can. I think we can start to collect these on round 34, probably. Let's see. Yeah, first of all, I do want to go for a few more of these. There we go. Here, here, and here. Nice, and let's get ready to collect everything. This one I can upgrade to a Ray of Doom in a little bit. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely winning this. No, uh, like no way he, uh, he stands a chance here. I just don't know when to rush. I don't think we wanna, I don't think we wanna rush quite yet. I think we want to wait a bit. Let's see, round 34 should happen pretty soon. Round 33 is hella long. Alright, let's collect all of these. Damn. So now we have a really, really good eco, and we have a lot of money to uh, to spend off Ray of Dooms. So that is good. Definitely. Let's see, can we fit this anywhere? Can I fit one up here? Yeah, I can. Nice. Alright, let's go. No, I think I'll let these cook up a couple more times just because we do want to fill up as many Ray of Dooms as we can. Whenever he starts to rush me, I feel like I can rush him back because he's not going to have that much defense. The only problem is I'm going to be losing my eco, whereas he just has a bunch of disposable uh, money right now that he can spend on CMGs and it's not going to hurt him at all. But I'm going to be losing my 13k eco, which I kind of like. But again, I should be completely fine so far. And we all we do have a damage boost, and I think he probably has a damage boost as well. So, like, I don't know. I really have no clue. But let's see. All of these cooking up. Looking good. Just gonna let them all cook up one more time. Or two. We'll see. I don't know if I'll fill up the entire map with uh with Ray of Dooms. We we'll see. Oh, I can go for this down here. Bam. Nice. Maybe I should slowly start to go for some more. Here we go. As long as uh, there's space for everything. Which I think. I think this is pretty good. I don't know if we can fit another uh, glue gunner in here. Or dartling gunner. No, we can't. Darling Gunner's too uh too fat, bro. Here we go. These are looking good. It's getting hard to uh get a vision of where we can uh can uh, place things. There we go. Alright, nice. Okay, so we have a good amount of money right now, and I think we'll collect these on the next round because then they should be close to 20k each. I'm gonna get ready with the top one because we like the top right one because I don't accidentally want to click on a damage boost. I think I can start rushing soon. I think I'll collect all of these and then I'll probably start rushing then. Because otherwise this gets dragged out too long. But we're definitely like 
around 40 right now like this is definitely a late game uh late game one let's see come on around 39 can you end soon how are you still going this is absolutely crazy come on all right it should end now there we go all right let's collect everything Bam, bam, bam. There we go. And let's just start rushing. We have too much money anyway. Might as well. Also gonna go ahead and upgrade some of these. There we go. I don't think he'll be able to defend everything. Maybe it's a big bloom buster or something. No, wait. He doesn't have damage boost. We learned this from earlier. Right. Alright, let's see. I can always start selling farms whenever I need to. I don't think he'll be able to defend this. Even with a damage boost and everything, he'll struggle. I think we should actually be fine. So that's not really a worry. Like, look at this. Even though I sent so many CMGs, we still have, like, so much money. It's crazy. Alright, am I good here? Do I need anything? I think I'm fine. Maybe. I'm gonna go for some more Ray of Dooms, but let's go ahead and boost. Real quick. Oh, give me a Ray of Doom. <laughs> give me another one at least. Right, here we go. Yeah, I think we're okay to this. We're chilling. Let's go ahead and collect all of these. Sell a few. Let's uh, upgrade some of these. Yeah, we're defending. We're defending. He's actually almost defending too, I think. So let's go ahead and send him some more. He's still just sending infinite. It's getting a bit scary. I'm gonna go for one more balloon liquefier here, just to be safe. Let's go ahead and damage boost. And let's keep on sending. So we're defending so far. We're doing all right. Let's see, what about him? I do wanna go for a two, three glue down here, just to kind of help catch anything else that might accidentally leak past. I'm gonna go ahead and target it too strong. There we go, yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're fine. Let's see, these have like 10k in them each. Let's go ahead and collect everything. Send them another 10 CMGs. It's getting low key intense right here. Let's go ahead and damage boost that. That is our final damage boost as well. Just because we are going into such an extreme late game. Also, look at this. Like, the CMGs only take 450 eco, so we barely lose any eco when sending CMGs. Like, it's actually. <laughs> We, we're not even out of eco yet. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I think uh, I think we got this. I think we take the win here. Let's uh, sell everything real quick. Bam. Ray of Dooms. And we got this. We defend. That is beautiful. And meme strat should go down right here. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.